We love Stewie Griffin, and one of the best things about him is that he isn't afraid to really push some boundaries from time to time, or pretty much always. But even though he's always hilarious about it, even Stewie can go too far every now and again. Why not take a sec to hit that red subscribe button and ring that notification bell while you're here? It'll keep you up to date on all of the latest from Screen Rant. Abandoned Mother Teresa. One would hope that when someone you know is down and out, that a good friend would be there to help pick them back up. Especially when that friend is a literal saint and she needs some serious medical attention. But in the episode Peter's Two Dads, when Mother Teresa is overdosing in the back of Stewie's car, he races up to the hospital emergency room and forces the other guys in the back seat to push her out before driving away. If that isn't some seriously questionable friendship from Stewie, we don't know what is. Impregnated himself. The the entire Brian and Stewie arc from the season 13 episode Stewie is on scent was just so, so uncomfortable, and by far one of the craziest and creepiest things that Stewie has ever done. When Stewie feels like Brian is losing interest in him, he goes to extreme measures in order to keep them together. So much so that he impregnates himself with a sample of Brian's DNA without Brian knowing about it. He then gives birth, I guess? To some pretty unfortunate Brian Stewie hybrids, and the whole thing is exactly as gross as it sounds. Another murder. In the episode Eight Simple Rules for Buying My Teenage Daughter, Stewie gets a new babysitter named LaDawn and becomes immediately obsessed with her. Aside from how generally creepy it is for a baby to actively hit on a grown woman, the big problem is that LaDawn has a boyfriend. In a fit of jealousy, Stewie beats LaDawn's boyfriend to a pulp with a tire iron and locks him in the back of Brian's car. That's not even the worst part. The worst is that he forgets about the poor guy, only to remember weeks later and decides that, oops, he must be dead by now. Blackmailing Brian in Season 2, we learn Brian has been harboring a deep, unrequited love for Lois, which has been causing him to have accidents on the carpet. Lois and Peter jump to the conclusion that Stewie is the culprit, and attempt to potty train him. When they eventually realize it was Brian after all, and Stewie finds out Brian's secret, he immediately uses it to blackmail his so-called best friend. He frames him for more accidents and does everything he can to make Brian jealous of Lois's affection. Not the best way to treat a friend. Questionable Taste Family Guy is no stranger to getting a good amount of heat from the censorship board, religious organizations, parental advisory groups, and everyone in between. In fact, they seem to love the heat, and it only makes them push the envelope further. The episode Family Gay got in this kind of trouble for one particularly gross Stewie moment, and we almost get why. When Peter starts breeding horses, he lets the family know that there are some milk bottles of, well, horse fluids in the fridge. Too bad Stewie is already halfway through a bowl of cereal, though the news doesn't even seem to slow him down. Steroids. There's just something deeply unsettling about a muscular baby, and a baby who's gotten jacked by developing a steroid addiction is even worse. But that's exactly what happened in the Family Guy episode, Steroids. When Susie Swanson won't stop beating him up, Peter gets Stewie hooked on steroids in order to get strong enough to defend himself. It's not long before he gets totally carried away, though, and takes out his new strength and roid rage on Brian. Eventually, they do wear off, though, and his loose skin allows him to glide out the window like a flying squirrel, which is undeniable hilarious. Big consequences. The lines between Stewie being a baby and also being treated like a much older person are often blurred and lead to some pretty creepy consequences. In the episode McStroke, Stewie goes undercover as the coolest new kid at James Woods High to win a bet against Brian, and he totally succeeds. He ends up on a date with Connie D'Amico, and the two are about to go to second base in her car before she discovers that he is, well, built like a baby. When she laughs at him for it, he rips off his disguise and has her arrested for kissing a nude baby. New Brian. We all know Stewie and Brian have a very close, if weird and complicated relationship that can't be replaced, which became clear in the later seasons when Family Guy killed off Brian for a couple of episodes. But you might have forgotten about New Brian from back in Season 7. When Peter buys a new dog because he believes that Brian is getting old, he immediately starts to drive Stewie crazy. When New Brian takes advantage of Rupert, it's the last straw, and Stewie takes it upon himself to murder New Brian and cover it up with a fake suicide note. Killing Bertram Stewie and his would-be younger brother Bertram have always had mixed feelings about one another, and mostly those feelings are pretty murderous. While Stewie has bested Bertram more than once, he really goes in for the kill in the episode The Big Bang Theory, where Brian and Stewie travel back in time to kill Bertram before he can kill Leonardo da Vinci and erase Stewie from existence. Rather than just disarming him, Stewie shoots Bertram right in the chest with a bow and arrow, finally defeating him for good. 
Where's my money? Of course, no video about Stewie's bad behavior would be complete without the infamous Where's My Money fight from the Season 4 episode Patriot Games. When Stewie becomes a bookie, Brian takes out a $50 bet with him. He loses the bet and takes just a little too relaxed of an attitude towards paying back the money that he owes. Stewie finds a not-so-subtle way of letting Brian know that he wants his money back, however, by absolutely destroying Brian all over the family home. It's long, it's brutal, and it's one of the best Family Guy fight scenes of all time. Whew, there you have them. 10 reasons you really don't want to mess with Stewie Griffin, as if he needed any more motivation. What do you think about these 10 things? Were there any crazy Stewie moments that we missed? Let us know down below, and make sure to hit the subscribe button to be the first to know about the latest from Screen Rant. Thanks for watching.